Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use the inverse matrix in order to solve a system of linear equations. Well, recall that whenever you have a system of linear equations, you can always represent it in terms of matrices equation. And here is matrix A, which contains all the coefficients for the unknown variables. Here is um, a column vector, column matrix X, um, which contains all the unknown variables. And on the right hand side here is um, B matrix or a vector B. And um, mathematically, it can be represented as, well, AX is equal to, to B. <clears throat> Now, when you introduce inverse of a matrix, so let's say you introduce the inverse of a matrix right next to uh, this item here. So once you have introduced the inverse of matrix A on the left hand side, the same thing should be introduced on the right hand side of this equation right here. And we also know that this can be written as inverse a times with a and x this is equal to inverse matrix of a multiplied with b <clears throat> what happened here is um, this is going to be an identity matrix and if you have identity matrix with x right here you will get um, matrix x itself therefore based on this we can solve the unknown x by considering uh, the inverse of matrix A multiplied with B. So that is the solution for the unknown variables x here. <clears throat> now um, we are going to apply this into this example right here where you are asked to use the inverse of the coefficient matrix to solve this linear system. Okay, um, without further ado, let, let us jump right to it. So here is the linear system, which of course you can simply write it in terms of matrix A, which uh, concerns with the coefficients of this part here. So we have one and two. And then um, for this one here, we have three and four. So this is matrix A. Right next to it is the matrix, a column matrix that contains the random variables. So the unknown random variable is X and Y. So here we have X and Y. And then right here is um, column matrix B, which is um, 3 and negative 2. So here we have 3 and negative 2. This is for X and this is B. Um, <coughs> Well, uh, as I have shown earlier here, you can solve the unknown variables if you consider um, the multiplying the inverse of matrix A with um, B. So that's what we're going to do uh, right now. We are going to find what is the inverse of matrix A. Right. Uh, Inverse of matrix A can be obtained. Well, this is a 2 by 2 matrix. Therefore, the formula to find the inverse of matrix, uh, you're supposed to know this already. And if you don't, you can refer to the uh, old videos related to inverse matrix. And here is the formula. AD minus BC. And then you will just switch the position of A and D. So here will be D and A. And then this is negative B, negative C. Okay, so that's the formula to find the inverse of matrix A, where A is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, what is A? A is this guy. So A times D, this is 4, minus B times C, so this is 6. And then you switch the position of these two values here. So you have here 4 and 1. And then these values here will be given a negative sign right next to it. So here we have 
negative 2 and negative 3 and uh, we can just simplify the whole look so here is negative 2 4 negative 2 negative 3 and 1 and this can be simplified as 4 over negative 2 is negative 2 negative 2 over negative 2 is 1 negative 3 negative 2 is 3 over 2 1 here is negative 1 over 2 so this is um, the inverse of matrix A okay then what you need to do is we can then solve the value of x so what is x x is x and y so x and y here is equal to having this matrix which is negative 2 1 3 over 2 negative half and you multiplied with b b is 3 and negative 2 so we got b straight from this part right right here and this is equal to well as you can see this is a 2 by 2 matrix this is a 2 by 1 therefore the result that you're going to get is a 2 um, by 1 matrix 2 rows and 1 column so for this part here you will have negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 1 plus and plus 1 negative 2 is negative 2 so the answer here is negative 8 for the second position here we will have to consider this row and you will multiply this row with this uh, column so 3 over 2 with 3 is 9 over 2 plus um, negative 1 over 2 negative 2 is positive 1 so 9 over 2 plus 1 is um, actually 11 over 2 okay so this is the answer therefore the value of x is negative 8 and the value of y is 11 over 2 and that is how the inverse matrix can be implemented um, in order to solve a system of linear equations um, that's all i think for now thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video